Hi everyone, it's Rena, and today I'm going to talk about V Magic Mirror. So, I have mentioned this uh, software a couple of times now. Um, in the last video, I said I was going to actually download it and test it out and see if it, is it worth the download. Um, yeah, welcome to Worth It. <laughs> Uh, we're doing a BuzzFeed edition of Worth It um, and seeing if these things are actually worth your time and effort. <laughs> so let's get into this. Okay, this is V Magic Mirror. Um, you honestly can just Google it, V Magic Mirror. And uh, yeah, it is a software that does not require you to have any devices like you don't need a webcam you don't need this fancy leap motion detector that I have here that's tracking my hand movements <laughs> anyways um, yeah you don't need that you just go down to here click on booth bam I do have a booth website uh, I have a booth shop of my own you see you see my little icon up there you see it? You see it? You see it? Yeah, I have a booth site too. So, <laughs> if you want, you can find products like some sweaters. If you want some sweaters, mm hmm. You want a whole avatar for a really cheap, like five bucks, you know, it's pretty sweet. Just want some backdrops, kind of like my backdrop right over here. Ta da! Or <laughs> you can get um, other ones I have done. So you either have a daytime and a nighttime mode. Um, there's a bit of, I think it was rain in the background fall. I can't remember what I did with that. Um, yeah, and then there's this one where the sky is moving. It's a little, a little funky. And then this is completely free one where it's just, uh, you're in an office. Very simple office. And then you have other characters or clothing. Yeah, clothing. There are some free items. Bam, bam, bam. And there's some other free items. And then there's some paid ones. So yeah, check it out. Booth has some really cool things. Anyways, what I was originally here to talk to you about is actually this software right here. Okay, now that it's here, we uh, open the software. We're about to open it now. Bottom. I run anyway. <laughs> yeah, same same kind of meshes that um what's this thing called? Uh VC face. Wow, I kinda of forgot what words were. <laughs> same kind of thing that VC face uses, uh where it tells you to protect your computer. Don't do it. And then you say, I run anyways. <laughs> so we're gonna click on here, we're gonna add a Avatar. <laughs> Why is she so high? Cool. So we're gonna turn. Okay. There we go. All right. So now we have me. Here, and you see my hand moving with the mouse. Um, and then if I were to type into any other things, it would start to control that. Hmm. Hmm. Streaming. We have, okay, so on the home page, we have you load your character. We have the different settings, setting windows. Let's see what that means. Transparency window, background color, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I'm going to unplug something. Is she tracking my, no, okay. No, it's based on hand movements. I was like, where is she? How is she moving her head? <laughs> Okay, so it looks like any movement you do with your hand, um, it will track kind of like your body position. And then you can set your green screen on the thing here, motion tracking. So uh, you can change the upper body mouse and then game pad. So I'm going to plug in a controller in just a moment. 
Um, and then I think I will come back to you when I have some of the other things set up. So I'll be right back. <laughs> A few moments later. All right. So I got her back up and running. Um, basically, this is what it would look like. Um, as you can see, there is my mouse, uh, and I have a controller. So I also have it set to whenever my mouse goes over the character, it will go into the transparency mode. But I do have a controller I can move around with, uh, which is pretty interesting. Um, I haven't set any of the expressions or anything like that. If you were to use this software, you can control everything from the hub. So when we were in here, this is where you download your character up there. And then um, you just reposition your character. So it kind of like auto adjusts. So when you saw when I first loaded in, I was like, you're staring almost up my skirt. And now I'm not. <laughs> and then we have here, I guess if you don't use your hand for an extended period of time, your hand will fall down to your side in presentation mode. Um, and then we're going to click on to streaming. So you can control everything here. Um, currently, my character is on a green screen. But if I do press the transparency window, it gets rid of that and makes it nice and clear, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I do like that feature that you can just do it like that. I have it set up to synchronize with my mouth. You can change the sensitivity and show the volume scale. So that's actually really interesting. Okay, and then you have your tracking of your webcam. Obviously, if you don't have any of those, you can just skip that and not use that. Uh, yeah, because I do have a webcam, I'm getting into track with my facial expressions. Not really well. I don't remember how to turn on all those features. Um, it, you can set it to auto blink or let it blink uh, as you would normally blink. Yeah. Um, my character is currently holding on to the controller because I have my controller plugged in and that was the last thing I touched. Uh, but if I were to click on to the keyboard and mouse then the controller is just going to float there. So you can also... Um, so if you have an arcade stick, you can also use that. But I don't have one of those, so default it is. <laughs> and then... Word to motion. I saw some of these and I wasn't really sure what that meant. I think you can say a word, or if I type out wave, yeah, then my character will wave. Or if I say good, hooray, <laughs> um, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of just type out certain words and it will just kind of do the thing. It's kind of fun. Um, I guess you can configure a few of them. And then if you have other devices that you would like to upload, uh, yeah, you can do that there. The camera positions, I'm not really sure. Um, you can always change it here, where right now I have like a wind blowing. It's just a wind blowing in my hair. Anyways, or I could have a shadow and not have a shadow. It's up to the user. Um, kind of looks cool with the shadow. Makes it look like I'm actually sitting behind a backdrop in here. And then you can either toggle the gamepad to be there or not so that's pretty much the magic mirror in a nutshell um yeah it currently ver current version only supports ios apps Ooh, cool so if you do have an iphone this might actually be beneficial to you but it's be actually kind of cool to try out um then it has facial tracking and then i wonder if you can connect that to your computer and see how that would work yeah. oh yeah and then you can also change your target like of where you want it to pay attention to so if you want your person to always kind of look over to my left um which I guess to you is like you're right. Uh, you could have it looking at your mouse, or you could have it facing kind of more towards the center. Or uh, none kind of allows you kind of just to move around a little bit more, so you can just change. I think if you're in here, 
you have a little it's a bit more stiff to rotate so if you have it in the user i mean none you can kind of pivot and actually change other than that i think that's pretty much it so if this video has helped you at all select that like button it really helps me out and or consider subscribing um i'm i'm clearly having a little twitchy eye movement <laughs> i will see you in the next one okay take care i don't know why i'm blinking i am having a spasm having a spasm i'm gonna change that okay we're gonna fix that you know the auto blink is not a thing that we need to do here <laughs> uh having it blink i mean auto blink is actually something that we should have instead of having it where did i find that that's the question it was in the settings toolbar where the hell was that settings toolbar i do not recall <laughs> uh settings here we go settings <laughs> face um, yes, yeah, so this is where I, I configured it to pick up my mic and then my webcam. Uh, we're going to turn on the auto blink. Um, this is kind of like uh, 310A, not that one down here. Uh, it's very similar to that, but except for you have your hands kind of being tracked a bit more. So if that's something that you're interested in, I think it's pretty cool to try out. I'm going to test it out with playing some video games after I eat breakfast. So we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.